until finally they were allowed to buy their farms. From the richest man in the world who inherited the land, which is how the rich get rich. In case you thought that it was about work, let me tell you, it's not. The patroons came from Holland to America, became landlords where none had been before. Soon one man owned half a million acres on both sides of the Hudson River shore. He invited families to move in and give him 30% of everything they grew every year. This is how they pay the rent. His name was Van Rensselaer. He became one of the richest men on earth. In today's terms, $90 billion is how much he'd be worth. All this for doing nothing but saying all of this was his. I have the power of the state behind me, and I'm in the landlord biz. After 200 years of this and one revolution won, another Van Rensselaer had another son. And this Rensselaer was greedier than his ancestors, dead and past. It was the 1840s, and things were changing fast. It was the straw that broke the back. The bottle was uncorked. They started organizing meetings. The tenant farmers of New York. They found the strength of numbers. They found the power of suggestion. They found each other asking the same question. Who gave you the right to be a landlord? To live a life of ease while others toil? Who gave you the right to be a rich man? While the rest of us pay you so we can work this soil? They vowed they would stop the rent collection. They vowed they'd bring this madness to an end. And when one blew the tin horn of distress, he soon found he had a thousand friends. With calico skirts, masks upon their faces, on horseback, armed with knives and guns. They chanted and they yelled, and they kept their farms, and they kept the sheriffs on the run. They asked, who gave you the right to be a landlord? To live on life of these while others toiled? Who gave you the right to be a rich man? While the rest of us pay so we can work this soil? Governors malicious tried to stop them, but nothing could be done to break their will. And by 1848, the landlords buckled, sold their holdings to the farmers in the hills. Yes, they overthrew this feudal system, but it's replaced now by speculators and banks. And you can still hear the homeless families asking of all the landed gentry in our ranks. Who gave you the right to be a landlord? Who gave you the right to be a rich man? While the rest of us pay you so we can work this soil. Who gave you the right to be a landlord? To live a life of ease while others toil. Who gave you the right to be a rich man? While the rest of us pay you so we can work this soil. Who gave you the right?